Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. This video is part of a series that incorporates the Thermalworks billows on a Weber Kettle 22. This time we are cooking jerk chicken. Actually, it's real easy jerk chicken, only requiring four ingredients and that includes the chicken. We start off with Badia jerk seasoning. Then tamari sauce. And finally, olive oil. We need half a cup of the tamari sauce. Also a good mixing bowl and wisp. Make sure you have a tablespoon for the other ingredients. Pour the half a cup of tamari sauce into the bowl. Now add two tablespoons of jerk seasoning. This jerk seasoning has a bite to it, and two tablespoons is the minimum. If you can take the heat, add more. Keep your fingers away from your eyes and wash your hands to avoid an unpleasant experience. Now add four tablespoons of olive oil. The spices in the jerk seasoning are more soluble in fat than they are in water. The oil absorbs these flavors and distributes them more evenly through the chicken. Any olive oil will work, but I prefer extra virgin olive oil for it has very little taste and will not flavor the marinade. Now whisk it all together. Make sure all the seasoning has been absorbed by the marinade. Get eight chicken thighs with bone and skin. Now get a one gallon Ziploc bag. Put all eight pieces of chicken into the bag. For safety reasons, I highly suggest using disposable food preparation gloves. Also, do not put more than eight thighs in the bag. The chicken needs room for the marinade to work. Pour marinade into bag with chicken. Remove air from bag. Now mix it up. Put in refrigerator for 10 to 24 hours. Time to prep the grill. Here's the billows. Here are the Weber baskets. Fill Weber baskets with briquettes. Add foil or drip pan. Time to program the Thermoworks Signals barbecue thermometer. Pit temperature of 275 degrees and meat temperature of 175 degrees. Attach pit temperature probe to cooking grate near where the food will be. 
Stark six briquettes and chimney. 10 minutes later, put three well-lit briquettes in each Weber basket. The advantage of only using a small number of well-lit briquettes is the pit will slowly come up to temperature, allowing the billows to control it better and without overshooting. Plug pit temperature probe into the fourth position on the signal's barbecue thermometer. Set pit temperature on signals to 275 degrees. Set lid vents to one quarter open. Put lid on Weber kettle. Now we take the marinated chicken and get it ready for the grill. Lay paper towels for easy cleanup. Lay a frog mat on top of the paper towels. No frogs were injured or killed in the making of this video, but four chickens were not so lucky. Now remove chicken from bag and place on frog mat. Pull skin tight and have skin facing up. We want the skin to absorb as much of the smoke as possible. Take your time and make sure the skin is flat and covers the complete thigh. We are going to cook these thighs at 275 degrees. That temperature will produce a lot of smoke and the skin that is wet with marinade will absorb it. Now it's off to the grill. Place frog mat in the middle between the two Weber baskets. Insert meat temperature probe into a larger thigh in the middle of the frog mat. Put lid back on kettle. Here is the complete cook chart for our jerk chicken. Pit temperature was set to 275 degrees. Meat temperature was set to 175 degrees. This shows the temperature drop as I put the chicken on. Pit temperature fluctuated between 275 and 290 degrees. At 50 minutes, pit temperature was turned up to 375 degrees to render the skin. At 70 minutes, I had to add more charcoal. At 90 minutes, the meat reached 175 degrees and was removed from the grill. Now the best part of the video, the taste test. I picked a smaller thigh for they normally can come out dry. As we look closer, the skin has the darker color that jerk chicken gets from the marinade and also from the smoke. As I cut into the chicken, the skin is well rendered and easy to cut. The meat is extremely moist and is well cooked all the way through. As I cut the chicken into smaller pieces, you can also see the meat has the perfect texture that you can only get on a barbecue. Did it taste good? No, it actually tasted fantastic. I just could not stop eating it. It was moist, had the spice bite of the jerk seasoning, and the skin was perfect to eat. 
one big Jamaican thumbs up. Bon appetit! If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate you watching.